Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway Project not okayed by National Assembly. Procurement for proof. Revs. Kindly follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook for more updates. Endeavor to share this video. The House of Representatives said yesterday the controversial Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway had no National Assembly's approval. It also resolved to investigate the procurement process of the coastal highway. The House also called on the Minister of Work, Minister of Finance and the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice to ensure that all projects, guarantees and credit enhancement instruments are sent to the National Assembly for approval. The Green Chamber equally mandated its Committee on Procurement and Works to investigate the procurement process of the contract for the project. Recall that the project has generated a lot of controversies with former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the presidential candidate of Labour Party, LP, in the 2023 election, Mr. Peter Obi, asking the federal government to come clean on the project. The motion, titled Urgent Need to Investigate the Procurement Process and Award of Contract for the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway, was moved by Austin Achado, APC Benue, at Plenary in Abuja. Moving the motion, Achado said the award of the contract did not follow due process, adding that it also did not get the approval of the National Assembly, hence the need to thoroughly investigate the procurement process of the contracts. Achado said, the House is disturbed that the contingent liabilities accruing to the federal government of Nigeria on this project violates the Debt Management Office Establishment Act of 2023 as Section 22, Subsection 3 states that the minister shall not guarantee an external loan unless the terms and conditions of the loan shall have been laid before the National Assembly and approved by its resolution. The guarantees issued to cover the debt financing components of this project do not have the approval of this National Assembly. Speaking further, he noted that the Federal Ministry of Works had executed an Engineering Procurement, Construction and Finance EPC plus F contract in favor of High Tech Construction Company Nigeria Limited for the delivery of the 700 km Lagos to Calabar Coastal Road and Rail Project, estimated at a rate of 4.329 billion per kilometer using reinforced concrete technology for a carriage width of 59.7 meters to include 10 lanes, shoulders, and rail with additional design of service ducts, street lights, drainage, and shore protection. He further noted that the project with the prospect of providing easy access for the movement of goods and services across the nation has a financing structure as announced by the Minister of Work, which requires the federal government to provide 15 to 30 percent co-financing while pr private sector counterparts will provide the balance and toy the road when completed for a minimum period of 15 years to ensure full recovery of all debt and equity applied for the delivery of the project. The lawmaker expressed concern that the procurement strategy might have violated the Public Procurement Act 2007, Section 40, Subsection 2, which required that where a procuring authority adopts to use restrictive tendering approach, it should be on the basis that the said goods and services are available only from a limited number of suppliers and contractors and as such, tenders shall invite from all such contractors who could provide such goods and services. According to him, the procurement strategy adopted by the Federal Ministry of Work for the award of contracts violate the Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission Act 2005 as Section 4 of the Act outlined that all approved infrastructure projects and contracts for financing, construction and maintenance must be advertised for open competitive public bid in at least three national dailies and Section 5 of the Act further clarifies that any direct negotiations with only one contractor could be allowed only and after exhausting the provision of Section 4. He expressed concern that the Federal Ministry of Work 
in promoting the project, has provided a rate per kilometer for the planned works, but has not provided the private partners' financing sources structure and competitiveness, as this was likely to create contingent liability to the Nigerian government. The House, therefore, asks its committee to report back within four weeks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube for more updates. Endeavor to share this video and drop a comment. Thank you.